Democrats blasting Mitch McConnell for blocking bills on election security, framing him as the, quote, number one ally of Russia, saying it's, quote, stupid to have the view that states have the right to have poor election security. No state has the right to have voting machines that can be easily hacked. That's Ted Lieu in California. So what is really going on here? Good faith election security or something else? Something else is what Jason Chaffetz suggests and has written about Fox News contributor and author of the new book, Power Grab. Chris Hahn is here to answer um, to him, former aide to Senator Chuck Schumer and syndicated radio host. Good to have both of you here tonight. Um, so, Jason, you know, quickly Great just to explain here. to us, you know, what do you think is going on here? Uh, I think the Democrats are doing everything opposite of voter security. You need to authenticate who that person is. The bill, H.R. 1, House Resolution 1, that they passed in the House is sitting in the Senate, does not allow for that verification. It does not allow lieutenant governors and secretaries of state to cross-reference with the Postal Service and others to make sure that people are only voting once. It publicly finances campaigns at a tune of six to one. So you have to pull money out of your pocket and public, publicly finance these congressional campaigns. Campaigns. Uh, it does allow same day voter registration, but without the provisional ballots, so they get into the mainstream. But authentication is the key to this, and the Democrats are not allowing that to happen. And that's why Mitch McConnell and so Donald saying, Trump are doing the right thing. You're and standing saying that, in the they, that this wouldn't allow states to, to double check their voter rolls and, and just make sure that the people who are voting are actually who they yeah. say they are. Is that, that's what you're talking about, right? It also right. allows for vote harvesting, so somebody can come pick up your ballot and turn it in for you without an election official. It doesn't allow the Secretary of State mm. to authenticate okay. who that person is. Chris, that sounds a little okay. troubling. Well, you know, there used to be a time in Congress when we saw a problem, like right now we have an election security problem that all of our intelligence officials agree upon. They say that Russia and other foreign hostile powers are trying to influence mm -hmm. our elections and hack into our voting systems. And Congress would try to fix that. Yeah. And if one party made a proposal to try to fix it and had some things right and some things they didn't like, they got together and they talked about it. Now, Mitch McConnell won't even bring it up for a debate. It won't be voted on. We won't see anything. We'll have op-eds written by people like Jason. Maybe good meeting, maybe not. We'll have other things going on. We'll have people calling it communism and vote, vote harvesting and uh, trying to consolidate power. But we're not getting to a solution. So we have the, a problem in this country. I, it has been agreed upon by everybody that there are people trying to hack but it. But you know what? Here's, here's why, here's why people don't like what's going on in Congress, right? Because what they want is, to, is for the folks on the Hill to be able to pro provide better election security and figure out a way to make sure that people can't hack into our systems. But what happens is that both sides Correct. are going to accuse the other side of making these changes to benefit them somehow electorally. So why doesn't Senator McConnell, Jason Chaffetz, just take a look at this bill and say, I'm not going to, this won't pass in the Senate and that part won't pass in the Senate, but here's where we agree. Let's work on it. Right. Well, let's start with the first thing. Chris, can you agree that we should authenticate who that voter is, maybe through some identification? Because Democrats can't even get through that door, let alone do all the other things. There's 30 different provisions to totally change the election Jason. cycle in that House Jason. resolution. All right, so Chris, is that Nobody, something that you can Jason, agree on, that people problem. should should have to prove who they are when they go to vote, just like when you take an airplane and everything else that you do in life? Uh, yeah. Exactly. I think that's a fake problem, and Jason knows who doesn't have ID and who does. Everyone and can that's get ID. Part of why the Republican Party no, fails because they don't no, have I ideas. Don't. They want to just they want to just keep people from voting. Go ahead, you don't, Jason. You don't know that people the, who no. live in cities generally don't that. have driver's licenses and other forms of pictures ID. If you're not going to authenticate, you could authenticate it by signature. Who the person and is? You could authenticate it by your signature. I don't think anybody can hear either one of you. Jason, quick, and then Chris, I'll give you a chance to rebut. You have to authenticate and you have to allow these secretaries of state to validate who these voters are. I think that's fair. It's it seems reasonable. reasonable. Chris, why is that not reasonable? And then I got to go. You know, nobody's Anthony Michael Hall from The Breakfast Club lying just so they can vote. Nobody does that in America. There's been countless studies that really? say it, Jason. It's a problem that you're trying to create yeah. to scare you your voters. About Russia, what is trying to happen you is the Russians that nobody, are trying to hack our election, cheats. and so are the Chinese. And Mitch McConnell right. better get off his butt and fix it. Well, that wasn't very nice. Well, that's why they shouldn't do electronic <laughs> voting. They should have actual written I think written you could put that ballots. in a more polite way, Chris. Thank you very much, guys. Good to see All you right, tonight. You should get we'll off his keister and okay. do something keister. about it. A little better. <laughs> Thanks, guys.